Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this chapter of uh, advanced scripting of UCCX, I'm going to discuss about how to define a script which will announce your position in the queue. Now, this script has a little twist that we must set the language if the call comes from a particular area. Otherwise, all of, uh, for any other location, call should be set to English. Uh, call should only be routed to queue if there is at least one agent logged in, even if the agent is not ready. And if agent is not available but logged in, queue the call and then check the position of the call. And once you have the position, announce it back to the user that there are X amount of calls ahead of him or her. If no agent logged in, the script should end with a prompt saying no agent available. All right, now very straight, 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 straightforward. Uh, basically, you have your caller ID, which we get the a and a into a variable called a and i. So we will store that very value from the caller ID into the a and i uh, variable. Now, just like the previous uh, one of the previous lab where we learn how to set uh, the language, you just follow that same thing. What we're doing here, we're using a switch command saying that if this a and i start str a and i sub string 0 3 contains 514 or 819 set the language to french for any other area code should be 514 819 again this is a mistake it should be one here set it to french or if it's any other number should be set to english pretty straightforward <coughs> Now, obviously, uh, it goes to another switch statement, which will check the language. Uh, default is English. And if it is French, then it's going to set the language to uh, right here, trigger it, and set the variable la lang language session to French as well. Same thing goes for English part of it, which is from the previous lab. So as you can see, I'm setting the value. Of the language to be French. Uh, we're hard coding the language uh, language variable uh, session variable to French as well. If it was English, it would be pretty much the opposite. All right, now we're going to use an agent logged in and get reported statistic. See that get reported statistic. What it does, it allows you to get a statistic about the logged in agent. So I create a variable called log agent logged in. That's an integer variable. And in that variables, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the get reported statistic node to look at the CSQ and IPCC Express. Uh, the number of agents that are logged in should be stored from this particular queue, CSQ. And whatever the value it is found in the CSQ should be stored into this local variable called agent logged in. And once that we have that, then we can do an if uh, logical uh, test on it. <clears throat> Followed by main menu. The first menu that we use is to play the welcome prompt, followed by the ability to change the language from nine, uh, to French to English or English to French. By pressing the uh, 9. If you do press 9, then the user intent, intention is to change the language. If the current language, which is set to this particular field, is set to French, then we will change it to English. Otherwise, it will be set to French. When I go back to set variable, which will go, if I believe, uh, if I go behind, yeah, right there. It will start, come here and start this whole process. All right, now we do that part. Define your menu. Define your language for that particular menu once you choose the option. Now, we're going to do a, a logical test to see if how many agents are logged in. If it is greater than zero, remember the idea is that 
only if there's at least one agent logged in, not necessarily ready, then the call should go to queue. Now, obviously, if agent logged in is greater than zero, then select, use a select statement to select an agent from this particular queue. So select an agent from this particular queue. Uh, of course, if agent is not available, call will go to queue, play the queue prompt, you know, pretty straightforward. But here we're using the position in queue, which happens to be an integer value and get report statistic. And what we're doing, we're saying from the IP, uh, CSQ in IPCC Express, get the field position in queue and put that value into this variable. So in this from this CSQ into this variable called position in queue. Now, whatever the value of the position of your call is, it will be stored right there. And once that is done, we're going to do if the uh, uh, prompt generated so that we can announce it back. So what we're doing right here, we're saying prompt uh, position prompt equal create generated prompt number position in queue minus one. So what we're trying to do in the using this statement called create generated prompt, we're, we're going to announce play number because obviously these are number and uh, we're going to say that argument would be number followed by this is what we're going to announce now whatever the value in the position in queue is my current uh position in the in the queue but when i what i what do i what i want to hear is how many calls are ahead ahead of me so if i if my position is 10 i want to hear that there are nine more calls ahead of me it doesn't make sense for me to hear my own call being ahead of me right so what we do here, we simply saying, when, when we're about to announce this value, minus one from it. So if it is 10 minus one, so therefore nine calls ahead of me. And then store that value into this local very prompt variable called position prompt. And that's pretty much it. Uh, once we have this, we will then use the play prompt command to play, the, uh, play this prompt. So let's go ahead and open the script. So as you can see, this is the script. Um, I'll just quickly go here. Agent logged in. As you can see, logged in. CSQ. Put the va value into this variable called agent logged in. Do a if then else check. If it's greater than zero, go to the queue. Connect the agent. Loop. Play the queue prompt. Using the position in queue. Get the position in queue for this particular contact service queue and then store that value into this variable called position in queue. Uh, once you have that, you use a create generated prompt, which is automatically generating a prompt based on number type, value coming from the position in queue minus one. So if the value in the position in queue of my call is 10, I want to hear 10 minus one, nine calls ahead of me and store that uh, prompt into this variable right there, position for prompt. Then use your play prompt. This will, play prompt will say there are, are there are nine play prompt, position and prompt, which will announce the value, which is nine. And then I have a value that says uh, ahead of you. So there are nine calls ahead of you. So I have to break it down. There are followed by the nine, followed by calls ahead of you. So that's basically prompt. And you can you can, you can can even put them into together using a concatenation uh, uh, method. But I just want to, I was pretty much lazy. So I wanted to do it individually. So play, there are there are nine calls, uh, calls ahead of you. And that's pretty much it. So once you have this, you can go to, Script management. Oops, I got logged out. I believe it is upload. No, it's not uploaded yet. Okay, no, it it is uploaded right there, number nine. So I'll go ahead and change the application.
same one and this is going to be number nine so again you must define the Q prompt I guess all of our agents are busy something like that patient okay um, CSQ it's called CSQ CA uh, welcome prompt we'll leave it as it is no agent logged in I believe I create a prompt call um, what was it 888 something like that 9999 I believe that is the one okay so let's save this <clears throat> Thank you for calling Cisco Systems Pour le service en français appuyez sur le 9 your call is important to us. So in, this, in the queue right now. And we will be with you shortly. There are zero calls ahead of me. So as you can see, there are zero calls ahead of me because this is the first call. So obviously there's nothing else in there. Uh, so therefore the script is working. All right. So that's pretty much it for this script.